Chuck has finally snapped, and he is done with his favorite story, the Gospel of Winchesters. It is our job now to help the Winchesters take down the monsters of the world so that they can focus on Chuck. Welcome to Not Natural Thon, the read thon based on Supernatural, the show, which is in its final season. Guys, 15 seasons later, we are coming to the end of Supernatural, which is sad, and I'm not going to be okay when the show ends, but we're pushing through. We're pushing through, guys. Okay, so this readathon has two hosts. I am one of them. My name is Kate. Hello. Hi. And my co-host for this readathon is Sammy at Sam the Bookish Girl. I will leave her uh, Twitter at in the description down below. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram, and I will leave all the links in the description, including everything you are going to need to know for the readathon, which takes place May first to May thirty first. We were going to end when Supernatural ended, but uh, things have changed, and Supernatural is not ending in May, so we. Or just doing the whole month of May. Sound easy enough? So we don't have complicated dates and everything. So let's move on to the props for this readathon. Like I said, all of these hunts are based off of the monsters of the world. So our first prompt or hunt is that you have to buddy read one of these one of these books. And it's just meaning don't hunt alone. No one should hunt alone. You need backup. So your backup is you reading a buddy read with somebody also partaking in the readathon. Because why not? Um, never hunt alone. That is the number one rule of being a hunter. But that's, that's the only prompt um, that deals with that. Okay. So our second one is Angels, and it is Divine Intervention. Read a book with fallen angels. I think that is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, angels, read a book with fallen angels, or angels, it doesn't matter. You can do either one. Next one is Lucifer, because uh, <laughs> Lucifer may still be a problem, guys. Um... And we all know that originally his name was Morningstar. So you have to read a book with uh, stars on the cover or in the title. I'm reading the prompts off my phone if you're wondering. If you're wondering what's going on. Okay. So the next prompt, uh, we're skipping the group read. For now, I'll explain the group read here in just a second. But um, the next monster is the Banshee. You can fight a Banshee. And that is the Golden Weapon. Read a book with gold on the cover or in the title. Like I said, that's kind of self-explanatory. Changelings. Family Tides. Read a book that has strong family ties. So, uh, sisters, brothers, cousins, aunts, uncles, parents, <laughs> grandparents, great-grandparents, Anything with family ties, we all know Supernatural is all about family, so we wanted to add a prompt that also includes great family ties, like the show's all about. Demons! The most common enemy, it seems like now, on the show of Supernatural. It is Salt the Doors and Windows, and read a book with demons or demonic themes. So, demons fight those demons and re yeah so it can be they don't have to be the antagonist they can be the protagonist we've had protect we've had good demons on the show like Crowley and Meg next is Jen and that is wish granted you get to read a book um that you've been wanting to read so it's a free choice um Jen's grant your wishes kind of make you into a world that um, that you create, you want to, your your perfect life is what visions put you in in a dreamlike state. So, pick the book you really want to read, because that's 
what the jinn will create. But remember to get out. That's not your real world. Alright, next one is fairies. Strong magic. Iron strong magic is what kills fairies. Read a book with magic or magical things. So, witches, wizards, fairies, elves, anything with magical things. Just people with magicians, I guess, you know. Can be anything, can be a ton of different things. Hellhounds, and you kill those with the demon killing blade, obviously. Read a book with the blade on the cover or in the title is the prompt for that one. Next one is Leviathans, and this is my favorite. I, I created this one, and this is my, this is my favorite. It's called The Rise of Dick, because we all know Season 7 was just one big innuendo. Just, just saying. And it is to read an erotic romance novel, or if you don't feel like reading romance, you can read a book with strong political themes because a Leviathan became president in the United States, and his name was Dick Roman, and we, we ran with the dick jokes all, all season, and it was, it was a fun time. It was a fun time to be alive, let me tell you. Okay, Reapers. Death's Scythe. And that is to read a book that includes any words associated with death in the title. Um, Shapeshifters is the next one. And that is Rip Out the Heart. Read a book with a heart on the cover or in the title. Alright. Next one. We are getting to the most well-known um, monsters of the world. But they still need to be taken down because a lot of them are evil. Vampires, Dead Man's Blood. Read a book with vampires so you can read Twilight. Wendigo, Burn It With Fire. <laughs> Set that sucker on fire is what Wendigos need to do. You need to do with Wendigos. You will read a book, orange book, or a book with fire or flame in the title. Simple enough. Werewolf, we all know what kills a werewolf, and that is a silver bullet to the heart. Read a book with silver on the cover or in the title. So you got gold and you got silver. We're taking... Whatever. Zombie, headshot, read a book with an assassin. So, those are the prompts. You can read them in any order you like. Does not matter. You can read... You can f decide to hunt changelings one time and then decide, you know what, I'm going to take out a vampire. Alright, you do you, just do it safely. Y'all know this. Do it all safely. So now to explain the group books. There are two. You can either choose to side with the Winchesters, which is the win side, winning side, because we're not the loose Chesters. Sorry bad joke. <laughs> and if you side with the Winchesters, you can read Family Don't End in Blood, which is the nonfiction book um, about, it's just a collection of essays and stories from actors and fans and people who worked on the show. It's just this one big collection of story, you know, just fun stuff to read from the people who care about this show or you could side with Chuck which is the losing side as we we really we're really hoping guys please please let the Winchesters win and you can read the roads not taken which is a listen to this a supernatural choose your own adventure story which makes you in the driver's seat and makes you Chuck of the story. I have bought both. I'm very excited about I'm excited to read both. But obviously, I'm on the Winchester side. Because we're on the winning side, right guys? We're not the lose Chesters. <laughs> How many times am I going to state that in one video? Who knows? So, that is all of the prompts. All the group prompts, 
Um, I think it's self-explanatory. I will leave the link to the Google Drive that my co-host Sammy um, made in the description so that you can read all about it and get all the prompts and I think there's even a bookmark. There's several different things on here um, that you can look at. I think there's a TBR list. You just go ham, have fun with it. This is pretty, you know, so like just easy going kind of, but the stakes are high, guys. Seriously. Chuck is snapping. He's Thanos snapping people out of existence. We've we've got to be in together and just not let Chuck win this thing, okay? Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it came together and it wasn't one big mess. Uh, I will leave in the description a link to our Twitter, uh, our Instagram, and of course the Google Drive with everything in it. Wear your plaid, go crazy, and enjoy the month of May with us when we're probably still going to be in quarantine. Um, so I'll see you guys in my next video.